More and more farmers are telling their story to both the consuming public and to politicians. That's why commodity groups like Minnesota Corn do visits to the state capitol, Washington, D.C., and other locations to get their views heard on important issues that impact their farms. Adam Burr is the executive director of Minnesota Corn. It's tough when you're, you're trying to do your job on the farm and do your part, yeah, but uh, we need those folks to reach out. One thing we heard uh, last year when the, the uh, budget was going through Congress and crop insurance was sort of under attack and we found this out in the, the 11th hour and we did a call to action, we heard from legislators last week that they got an overwhelming response from growers and they, that's what made the difference. It's what saved crop insurance from being uh, significantly harmed uh, during those budget discussions. Meeting with both state and federal legislators is a regular event according to Burr. Both on the federal and state side we're in constant communication with them and we see that that pays off uh, uh, especially in these times when maybe there's nothing really major going on uh, you build those relationships so that when the crisis does hit uh, we're one call away and they know who to turn to and you build on you know those relationships that you've spent uh, time the quiet times uh, fostering I guess. Keeping up with the latest legislative issues is important for farmers across the state. It wasn't that many years ago that the only thing that a corn farmer had to worry about was planting the corn and harvesting the corn and taking care of things in between. Nowadays, there are many political issues that will affect the outcome of that crop in terms of dollars and cents. From crop insurance to farm bill to renewable fuel standards, farmers are more involved than ever before and efforts through groups like Minnesota Corn are one of the reasons they're up on the big issues. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.